Shalom family, assalamu alaikum, all praises be to the most high. Now before I continue, viewer discretion is advised if you have youngins, you may want to, you know, tell them to move away. I don't want them present during this video because what I'm going to talk about is an adult topic and, um, you know, viewer discretion is advised. So I'm sure many of y'all can relate to what I'm going to talk about in this video. If a lot of y'all are doing it, you need to stop doing it because, you know, it only take that one time. So anyway, earlier today, I was watching a YouTube channel and it was talking about it was reporting on a situation where you had a 23 year old young lady lo losing her life because she was involved in S&M. Right. Kinky sex. Now, there's a trend, there's a new thing going on. I'm not a part of that shit. I, I'm, I, maybe I'm old school, you know what I'm saying? For me, sex is supposed to be all pleasure. Now, of course, you can, you know, have a little pleasure pain, but not to the point where somebody's going to choke you out doing sex and shit, bring you on a brink of death. In some cases, you cross over and don't come back. So anyway, I was watching this video and, I, you know, they was talking about this 23-year-old young lady that was involved in S&M. She pretty much, that's her, that was her lifestyle. She was a college student, you know, say she was um, doing very well for herself, getting ready to uh, graduate. And, you know, that was a part of her lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? She was an escort on the down low. And part of her, you know, I guess her work was she had to do the S&M thing. And now I've heard of it. I don't know what it's about. So when he was talking about it on the video, I decided to go and research, right? So the only way I can research, I mean, I Googled the shit and they talked about it, but I wanted to see it for myself. So against my better judgment, I decided to, you know, to watch some, some S&M porn. I wanted to see what the shit was about because I have daughters out there and I want to be able to warn them about that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I hope you're not involved in this shit because this shit is dangerous or whatever. So I want to see it firsthand what's this, what, what, what it's about. And family, I kid you not, within the first 45 to 50 seconds of watching it, I had to turn it off. Not only was it dis disturbing, but it was demonic. Because you see these men literally choking out their partners. What, I mean, whether it be porn, I'm sure they're getting paid for the shit. But they was choking out these women, slapping them while they're having sex. I'm saying to myself, that's a form of like, that's how the slave master used to do to us. You know what I'm saying? When he was abusing us as slaves you know the black women the black woman slave they used to do all kind of crazy freaky shit to us you know what I'm and a lot of the behavior that we are adapting like choking out your, your significant other that's some shit that the slave master used to do to us as slave why are you doing it and i'm sure many of y'all that's listened to this video are probably engaging in that shit what what just think about what you're doing you're literally choking out you're the person that you're supposed to love, you're supposed to be engaging in, choking her out. Now, even if she, let's say she's with it, right? It only take that one time, family, that one time for you to slip up, for you to choke her the wrong way or go too far with the shit. How are you going to explain that as a black man to, to law enforcement when they, when they pull up on you? You know what I'm saying? The video that I watched, you know, fortunately, I, it wasn't, it wasn't a so-called black person that was doing it. I mean, and I'm sure there's many black people, maybe many of y'all niggas that's listening to me be into that shit. But my thing is this. Why would you want to actually... All right, how do you get pleasure from bringing somebody on the brink of death? And you know what I'm thinking to myself? I'm thinking to myself, people who actually do this shit, maybe they got some fetish. Maybe they got some in the windows. Maybe they're deep down in, the, in, 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 in subconsciously and shit. They want to kill a motherfucker. So this is an excuse and shit, right? Because even when he was talking about the video, the, the situation with this young lady, um, you know, they were saying, well, it was an accidental death. Nah, maybe this man used that as an excuse to kill this girl. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he wanted to get rid of her and he used the S&M shit, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe this person, because according to the, 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 the video, she was into it, like she was an escort or whatever. And this person that she... That it happened to, that that did it to her. I should say, it was a frequent fly. It was a you know a frequent customer, and apparently it went wrong. And of course, of course, it was a white man, right? It was a white man. It was a black girl. So you know, with that, it was an accidental shit. Now, now that would have been a black man that did that shit. It would have been criminal. So, I'm saying to you, family, this is a cautionary tale. This is a warning to y'all. It only take that one time. It only take that one time for you to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And you can't explain to the police 
or the slave patrol when they come and ask you what happened. You can't say, well, you know, you guys have a king. He says, because the first thing they're going to say, nope, you murdered this person as a black man. Maybe as a white man, you might get away with it. If it's a white man doing this shit to a black woman, you can get away. Because I've seen instances where white men kill some, kill a black woman, you know, and they say, well, you know, they was engaging in uh, drug activity and blah, 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 blah. And that's how they died or whatever. Y'all know the story. So what I'm saying to y'all family, you have to be careful. Envy not your oppressor. That's what the scriptures say. Envy not your oppressor. Don't do what they do because a lot of these behaviors that you see today that we as so-called melanated people, right? So-called black people engaging in. A shit that was done to our ancestors as slaves. Okay? These fetishes that you see, a lot of our people engaging in, the shit that the oppressors used to do to our ancestors. I can never see myself. Just picture your wife, right? Or your significant other that you love, the mother of your child. You literally having sex because you want to get your freak on. One night of pleasure that's going to lead to a lifetime of hurt. You choking this woman out. Now, what kind of pleasure... This person can get for her. Now, if she, now, honestly, if she's a demonic possessed and she want to get killed and shit that night, or she want to go on the brink of death and see what, you know, what that light is about that everybody talk about that, that I don't believe exists and shit, right? Then, hey, that's what she want to do. Yeah, go ahead. Go, all, you know, you ready, and you ready, and you ready to do some time? Do you. But if you really love your woman or you really love your baby mother or your wife or whatever, don't take that chance, family. Please, I'm begging you. Because it was very sad. The whole the whole video, the story, the ending of the story was very sad. You know what I'm saying? Because this young girl, she was trying to make her way through college, and this is this is mean. This is what means for her to make her way through college by being an escort. And unfortunately, you know these fucking weirdos, these fucking devils out there. You know these, you know who I'm referring to, right? They 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 have this caveman, brute brute mentality and shit. So that's how they used to fuck in the caves and shit. You know what I'm saying? When they was back in the caves in the Caucasus Mountain. You know what I'm saying? They used to just, like, do the cave. You know, Captain Caveman. You remember Captain Cave, the Flintstone? That's how they are. They came from Neanderthal. So they still got that caveman behavior. No matter how much they got the suit and tie and they speak articulate and all that, they still got that, that fucking caveman mentality. And now they're showing us, and now we want to adapt that behavior. For what, I don't under, for what reason, I don't understand. So if you are engaging in that shit, this is a cautionary tale. Can't say I didn't warn you. I said I didn't warn you. Stop doing the shit. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section with that. I say shalom.